Okay, we're in Microsoft Excel and we want to use a regex match with XLOOKUP. I'm going to give you three examples where I think this might be relevant. Now, in my first example, I want to return the last home score for the football team Nottingham Forest. So that means I've got to look up the team name in column A and return the home score in column D. Now, the problem is, is that Nottingham Forest has been entered in various different ways. So we've got in forest here, we've got forest here, and then Nottingham here. So I've got to look up all three versions of the team name. Now to do that with regex or a regular expression, all you do is separate the versions of the name with this pipe character. So what I do is I copy that regular expression onto my clipboard and I'll show you how to use it within XLOOKUP. So your lookup value is the regex or regular expression, and that needs to go in speech marks, comma. Your lookup array would be in column A. Your return array in this instance is column D. If not found, we won't bother with. Match mode needs to be regex match three. And then because we want to return the last score, we're going to change the search mode to minus one search last to first. And that gives me the score of three. And if we look, you can see that that is correct. Okay, let's move on to the second example. Now on here, what I want to do is return the email contact for each of these companies. So I've got to find the email address in column A and return the name in column B. Now for each company, there are various different entries. We've got physical addresses, email addresses, and web addresses. But I only want to look up the actual email addresses. Now to specify that, I've got this regular expression here. And at the moment, it's only gonna look it up for AlphaCorp. But I'll show you how to adapt this so the company name will be based on the value in column D. Now this regular expression, I got ChatGPT to write for me, and I simply went in and said that I needed a regular expression to look up email addresses. I had to refine it a little bit, but you can do exactly the same thing. So I'm gonna copy this regular expression onto my clipboard, equals XLOOKUP. My lookup value is the regular expression. Again, it's got to be in speech marks, comma. My lookup array is column A, comma, my return array is column B. If not found, I'm not going to bother with. Match mode will be three regex match. Close the bracket, press enter. It returns Emma Davis, and that is correct. There's the email address for AlphaCorp, and there's the name. Now, to get the lookup to be based on whatever company is in column D, all we need to do, if I copy that X lookup over here, is take out the company name and in its place, refer to the value in column D. Now to the left of that cell address, you need to put a speech mark and an ampersand symbol. And to the right of it, you need to put an ampersand symbol and then a speech mark. I also need to lock these range references. So that's F4 on my keyboard. And then I can just copy that formula down and it will find the contact name for these other companies. So for example, Promotech is Bob Jones. If I type Promotech up here, it will ignore it because this isn't an email address. Okay, let's move on to the third example. Now in this example, I'm looking up a pattern in column A and the pattern is, and this is the question that I asked ChatGPT, the code needs to have two numeric characters, hyphen, five alpha characters, hyphen, one numeric character, hyphen, then eight, nine J, hyphen, and then one last alpha character. So it gave me the regular expression that I would need, and then I copied it up here into F1. So once again, I'm gonna copy that regular expression onto my clipboard, equals X lookup, I'm looking up, the regular expression within speech marks, comma, my lookup array is column A, 
My return array is column B. If not found, I won't bother with, and I'm using a regex match. Close the bracket and press enter. And Dave Wilson is the first person that has a code with the right combination of characters. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.